Good evening, and welcome back to Astro Colony, where I have done some adjustments here. Um, I mentioned a few episodes ago that this was what I was originally going to do, and then I changed my mind to not do it, and then changed my mind back to do it again. Because all this stuff coming down was blocking up the connections here. It, it wasn't working. It wasn't working. It can still connect to it. It can still come down and connect to it. Each one goes to its own place. So if anything goes by, it shouldn't do. Everything is filtered. There should never be anything coming down this line, but redundancy is good just in case. Um, we've actually finished mining all the cobalt, which is quite nice. There you go. So let's get you doing, I think, titanium for the next one. Uh, boop. Copy. But um, you'll also notice something here. Um, I moved the uh, gas tank that we had. In fact, I added a gas tank. We had the uh, cable coming up here and plugging in. Um, I checked the advanced docking port, the uh, expert docking port, and the gas connector is here. So I moved it to this side and put in a, a, a tank here. Um, also, I was wrong. I was wrong on a few other things as well. So um, I wasn't sure about whether these pumped too much. Uh, they carried on pumping gas if they were full. They do. We established that. Thank you very much, Draven, for commenting on the episode. I did, in fact, miss the comment previous prior to the comment to this one, to that. And to, sometimes I have to record things a little bit out of order, so it's kind of awkward. But uh, you also mentioned that um, this is not how much gas they have. This is how many cycles you can run so this has 6857 cycles and produces 10 gas per cycle this has 68 and a half thousand gas in it on its own on its own that's a lot that's a lot i really really want a power switch i want a power switch i want a switch that allows me to um switch on and off the power and then be able to be control it by logic i want a logic power switch so what i want so that we can do things i don't think you can block i don't think this is the case uh but i'm gonna give it a try here so if we did that that's all got power and do it. if we lock it no it doesn't block the power okay i'll just just, just double check i was just double checking that because i'm like uh, i don't i don't think it does that but i've never tested it so we test it and uh, find out. There's there's cables under the ground there. I know there's tables under the ground there. I just put them in, so I know they're there. Um, wow. Uh, there it is. Oof. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I'd like to put it so that I can then read tanks or things and then just turn the power off for the whole thing. To be like, okay, we're done. Turn the power off. Stop running. That'll do. Um, that's fine. I could probably uh, turn these on and off via logic, but I can't read the gas tank. I can't read how full the gas tank is, so I don't know whether. Um, and is it, there's no, there's no. Uh, if I go to the inventory sensor like this, um, I can connect the inventory sensor to a gas tank. That's not a problem. That's fine. But there's no resource for gas in here, so I can't read the gas. That's the problem. It's not listed in here. Which is annoying. Um, I really wish there was a way to do it so I could just read the resource and be done with it. Um, and you can't just go. Um, uh, let's let's um, let's, uh, let's let's put this down here and then put this down here. Uh, bump, um, and uh, we will connect you to that, and then we will. Oh, ah, no. Ah, right. Stop that. No, we've got to do over here. This is a different grid. Different grid. So I can't do that. I can't connect. I think I can connect. There you go, that's better. Yeah, so it won't connect across the grids. So, yeah, which is, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. It doesn't connect. I think it does actually connect, but doesn't, if it makes, you know, if that makes sense. It doesn't. It does connect across the grids, but the line ends up going somewhere else and it does all sorts of weird things and could be broken. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no resource. So. Um, I mean, this has got 500 in it. So if we say is if it's got less than um, 500, it's off. If it's got less than 500, if it's got more than 500, if it's got equal 500, uh, if we set this to 100, um, say less than or equal to, it just always says off. It doesn't. It doesn't ever change because it's, there's no resource because we can't set the gas, which is 
I'd love to be able to set the gas. That would be nice. That would be nice so I can read gas and liquid and stuff so we could turn on or off our water things for liquid. Apparently it's been coming for ages. So yeah. Um, but anyway, um, we have a tank full of gas here, which is cool. And that will plug into this one here and pump into these ones here when that's done. We need the expert docking port for that, which is this. And these require mercury rods. Mercury rods are made in a expert smelter from gas and mercury okay we have expert smelters so let's put down an expert smelter uh just let's literally put it down there okay it needs power it needs gas not a problem not a problem gas and power Boom. There you go. You've got power and gas. You're going to be doing mercury. Uh, now we need to uh, obviously give it some mercury. Do we have any mercury? Yes, we do. Okay. Let's grab. I don't know how many. Let's grab the lot. Let's just grab the lot. Just yoink. Grab it all. I think this only, the mercury is only ever going to go to one place. So um, that's going to be right here. So that box is going to come out, go all the way down to here, and that's it. So it's only going to be in one place. I don't think Mercury is used anywhere else. Yeah, it's used in one place. So I only need one belt coming out of that one, so I might remove the other belt there. Remember to do that later, he says. Um, how many do we need? How many do we need? We need eight. So I need 16 of them. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Do 20 of them. Put on. There we go. Okay. Also, we need to move this pipe here. Because now we know that the pipes don't actually connect on this side. They connect on this side, so they'll connect here. And we'll run that uh, 9 and 20 of those because it's nowhere near anything. So, boom. Oh, wrong button. There you go. Boom. That'll plug into that one there. That'll be fine. Awesome. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Uh, we are using the gas here. Um, 14 seconds to make a mercury rod. Mercury rods are used by the expert constructor to make a heat detector i don't know what the heat detector is i don't know what it's used for um that's the only thing mercury rods are used for so we're not all that fussed about that for the minute i just want to make 16 of these guys and then we can get our expert things done connect them up get this running plug it in everything will be beautiful and wonderful and there can be much rejoicing uh you are still mining away here yep i need to upgrade this so i'm kind of tempted to uh shut this down migrate the box out uh, copy that and dump it in here um i don't know how much stuff this has got left on it though let's see mm, it's a bit and it, it's fine it's fine we'll just leave it here. let's copy it copper and carbon we don't really need those cobalt is what we want the cobalt's going to go there i've measured these out so these are a bit more centered now so that's the center one there so we need to find some cobalt not cobalt um what was the other one what was the other one uh cobalt amethyst we haven't found we also need to find some aluminium because we are out of aluminium do, 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 do. is that this one no that's amethyst uh yeah the that's uranium uh, we're out of uranium, we're out of aluminium. So we need to find some of those, uranium and aluminium as well. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will cancel this because we want to get this cleared as soon as possible. So let's, um, uh, let's. Just get the power. The bots will come back and will dock and then just sit there. So they can all come back and dock. And then we'll remove all this, delete all this, send the bots home. I'll migrate the bots back home again. And then we'll do that there. I think I've upgraded the uh mining blueprint. Um modify. Let's see. Did I do this here? Yes, I moved it over to this side. So it's now on the correct the uh, things, and it's got a tank there as well. So I've upgraded the blueprint as well. So 
Oh, not this one. I need to tank, but yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay, and then we'll upgrade that, and then we'll get some more. Um, I think we need more mining bots. Uh, do, 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 let me double check. Well, I can find it in here. Um, so the mining blueprint has 25 miners. That's 75 bots. So we're going to want 75, 150, 225 mining bots in total. Press P. We have 116. So I want another 100 and something mining bots. So how do I do that? How do I do that? Um, that'd be 600 for 100, wouldn't it? So if I hit max, 540 would be 546. Uh, 546. It told me right then. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. 91. So we're going to make another 91 box. Okay, so that's... um. Oh. Enough for 90 minus. Yep. Okay. So 91 in total. Cool. Right. Get that done there. Okay, so let's uh, remove all this. Oop. Delete. Um, what I might do... Uh, oh, actually, something I have done as well. Um, I've actually upgraded this to have an expert docking port. So, um, yeah. Um, and then I want to land on this one here. So I am on this planet. Click here. Click mass migration. And I want to go from man to prime. Uh... All bots, as many as we have. Um, destination station is District 3. Current station. 24. Current station is because I'm on this one here. To District 3. Migrate. Go. 45 minus. It wasn't 45 minus, but less than that because. Yep. Doop. Uh, delete. There's random things dotted around. Of course, there is. Ah. Would have used the uh, area delete thing for this. It would have made so much more sense. Do you mind? Go down. Thank you. Delete. Undock. Leak, leak. Okay. Um, and let's put in our minor blueprint. Tab blueprints. Minor blueprint. Do we have everything we need for this? We don't have enough to say that's because it's it's been so that That is because it's being held in here. We want to grab those. We've got 20 of those. Um make another 20. Because I actually want to build this one and that one and this one and the other one and that we need to upgrade that one there um yep yeah, that's fine um in fact to be honest with you, i don't think these should be no these should be standard docking ports these ones it shouldn't be the big ones because they're not going to have gas this one and this one's not going to have gas the end one's the only one that's gas because that's the only one that's plugged into it so these will be standard docking ports so we don't need it the, they do have expert belts which make the belts faster but that's not really a major problem so um i think we'll put down the minor blueprint here let's rotate it around so i want to put it like there but for some reason i can't why can't i put it there i'm with putting it there hmm. might be there are trees in the way oh Oof. Right, let's not do that. Let's use a drill. Yeah. Trees do block building, so um makes sense. Let's uh, flip down a little bit here as well. We could extend this out as well a little bit here. Yeah, try again. Open. We're at, we're at the correct rotation here, so I want to put it there. But it says no. Why does it say no? Do, do, do. 
No, no, the tree. The tree. I'll put it uh there. Doop. Awesome. Uh, and I'm gonna remove the gas from it. Not that it particularly matters. Uh, I'm also going to remove that docking port and I'm going to put one of these docking ports in instead. <laughs> we are too close. Um, give me an engine. Thank you. You are going to dock. You are going to have a output line on that side. Yeah. And then all of our bots will start mass migrating over to here. And then automatically start doing the thing. So I want to mine copper, I think, here. Let's uh, edit this and set it to copper. It is set to copper. I think all of them will be set to copper, but let's just do this and paste. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I want to tell you now. Oops. Copper. Paste. Okay. And then that will start mass doing the, uh, the thing there. Awesome. Right. So, zoom up to here. We are going to have run out of gas. Sorry. We're nearly running out of gas. Okay. Let's temporarily stop that one. In fact, I didn't need to do that. I could have just literally gone uh, deconstruct. Then we'll undock. Break that one, break that one. Get ourselves devices and put in the large connector there. Connector there. That will auto connect to that and auto connect to that. Awesome. And then we go dock. Stop docking. Uh, hold on. I think because it's in the same place it once was. Need to. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You. Stop. Stop. There we go. Had to move it away because it's in exactly the same position it previously was. I think it's broken the connection. So move it away and then. Bloop, there you go, docked. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Which means you guys won't get anything because we haven't done this here. So, uh, gas. Uh, quantity sent every four seconds. So we're going to send 100 gas every four seconds. Boop. Which means you now have 60 gas stored and you have none. You're going to run out because you have no gas. Yep. yep. And let's turn these two back on again. Oop. They're going to be pumping their gas. You're only producing, well, not much at all, so... Uh, that's fine, but all of it is going to get instant out gassed to here. And uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. There is gas coming over. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we want to change that into metal rods. So the first thing we're going to do here is put in uh, rods. Now, I want to make sure I am still doing the um, spacing correctly here. So... We're going to do this for the moment, just to measure. Just because I want it to look correct, that's all. Then that one can go there. Okay. There's a load of space there. That's okay. We'll put some more tanks in. There we go. We're going to have enough for 1,600. Awesome. Boop. Boop. It's a bit close on this side. It doesn't matter. It's fine. This is going to do 
uh, Mercury Rods. So, we need to bring up our Mercury. Now, we only need one Mercury line. We don't need two. We do not need two. We only need one Mercury line. We might need a second Mercury line. Um, so, we'll leave. We'll leave the second Mercury line in there. We'll just run. We've got some mining bots trying to find their homes. I found it's actually a lot easier to run it forward, so like run, run the belt forward, because you can stretch it to basically the full length rather than running it sideways, which does weird things. Running the belt that way is the easiest way. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. There we go. Okay, right. So let's get our blueprints. Let's get our overbelt. It's there. Which means we're going to get our smelter. We don't want the one smelter. No, nope, we don't want those. We want the expert smelter. Um, the expert smelter will sit here, like this. Okay. Um, you will come in like this, go like that, and then do that. Oh, not that far. Is it here. Rotate twice. Those belts actually go the direction you aim them. Do that. Uh, we want to put a pusher in, like so, but I'm going to disable the pusher temporarily. Go. Put on. We need gas as well. I'm not sure how I'm going to run gas. Um, we could run it up and over. It could be the same height as these belts. I think I'm going to run it underground though, like we've got the water one. I think I'm going to run it underground. Oh, the tanks do not have a signal output. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'll bring you along and I'm going to put you there because the water line is here. In fact, you need to be go down one more, one more layer. You need to come down to this layer. Oh, but the water's there. Electric, water, gas. Awesome. Okay. Where is our gas input? So it's here. So let's run the power line along. Can't run the power line long because that requires um, the gas bit there. So we will run the power line around that. So we'll run the gas line along like this, and it can go up, up, press into that. Electric can go straight into that as well. But on there we go. And you uh you will only be doing Mercury Rod, that's all you need to do. Okay, um the Mercury should be coming down here very, very slowly. That's fine. Uh so then we need to set up a bit of logic, which is dead easy. You've seen me do it a hundred times before, so I shan't bore you with the logic. Bomb, there we go. Right, and then this should be less than four. But on, there you go. So if we've got less than four, that that goes in there. The gas will automatically just feed into it. I can't stop the gas or anything, so gas is always a feed. That's fine. Um, this will fill extremely slowly because we're only using uh, like two pumps for the moment. I could absolutely get more pumps going. Um, however, we're using ten every. 14 seconds you have a cycle of 20 seconds so two of you will actually be enough to run that one thing there and i think that's all we need i don't i don't, I don't um i mean the gas is used elsewhere but for the moment that's all we need i don't need any more so there's no point in building more right now um we could fill the tanks but i know what will happen is that i'll fill the tanks 
forget it exists and then end up wasting all the gas. There's plenty of gas available, so it's not like we're running out of gas, but yeah. What we need to do is we need to find a world that has aluminium, that has uh, these two, has aluminium and has uranium on it. Can we find a world that has aluminium and uranium on it? Let's have a quick look here. Kool-Aid is a note. It's got a bit of cobalt on it. Wouldn't be bad. That has aluminium, but a little tiny bit. Not. That's got uranium. It's got a lot of uranium. Okay. Chaos Path. We'll tag that one. Uh, let's untag Elmwood. Because that's already with us now. Kind of copper. You have 2,000 cobalt. Got some uranium. You've got aluminium and cobalt. So that's a maybe. That's got mercury on it as well. Let's tag that one. And that's got mercury. That's got loads of stuff on it, so we definitely want to tag that one. Okay, so we want to bring these three back. None of them have got gas on them, which is fine. Uh, but I want to bring this one back first because of the aluminium. It's not got a lot, so aluminium and cobalt is fine. Smart wheat is nice as well. Okay, so what do we need to bring? We have floors. We have some engines. Um... We do not have any power or any electricity, so we need to get electric power and electricity. Okay. We have that. Okay, so in order to get power and electricity, let's go to my blueprints. Uh, whilst we're here, so this this is the way I want to carry the stuff in my in my hat. So put that down, and then I highlight the whole thing and delete it. Boom. And I know that whole strip is now in my inventory here. Stored in my inventory here. So I know full well that I have enough resources to at least put down one of those strips. I have a docking, a docking pool. I've got loads of flooring. Flooring's okay. We've got more walls than flooring, but that's okay. Um, we have engines and we have a control panel. So, okie dokie. So all I need to do now is go and find whatever that world was called. Albion Sapphiro. There. And we have our spaceship. Whoop, and go. And she trip past it. E you do travel very quickly in this ship, so. Whoop, bonk. <laughs> Ow, 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 cactus, cactus, ow, ow, ow. Uh, all right, can I land? E. Nope, can't land, no surface land on. Um, right, uh, get out, get out. Need the ship flying there. Let's, um, nope. Nope. Much quicker to mine with the, um, the drill. To mine with the drill, if, if you, if you look over a, uh, a item you click it, it will switch to your axles automatically. So mine with the drill, if you look at the ground and click once to get the drill, then just look up in the air, click and hold. Whilst you're holding, you can look at stuff and it will start moving it. So yeah. When you got the button held down, it stays in drill mode all the time. So um You do still get the tomato bushes if you mine them with the drill. That's fine. Okay, so is that good? Let's mine out a bit here. Again, I want to dock the ship. I want, I want to not dock the ship. I want to land the ship because I want to make sure. Um, it stays attached to the craft here. And once again, we need to put the. Dock. On the. Mm, sorry, the south side. The dock has to go on the south side. The dock has to go on this side here. So I need to flatten out some land here because this isn't going to work otherwise. So. Okay. And what I'll do as well, let's um, use the what it tool to make this a bit squarer. Uh, function uh, box voxel tool. Uh, in fact, before we do that, let's um, get rid of those. So, box voxel tool, click there, drag this out to say here, 
drag this out to say here and let's make sure it's go down by one so edit this and go down by one there we go awesome and then add voxels we'll just fill it with dirt And then unfortunately I need to mine that out because uh can't remove it. <laughs> yep, fill it with dirt. We've got another little dirt platform there, which is awesome. That means we can put in our we don't want to put in the mining platform, because we're not too fussed about the mining platform for the moment. Um let's just put in some massive floor. That that will do. Get ourselves an engine or two. Um Now, I can't for life me remember, where is home? Home's down there. We're going to want to go basically down with our engine. So I'm going to put the engines... Like that. But we're going to want to be going down, so yeah. Like that. Uh, we'll put in our strip of power. Boop. We'll put in our... Control center, which can just be put anywhere, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, and then we will stop. What we'll be able to do is connect the engines up. They should not be powered at all. We can go here and we can come down here to one of these worlds down here. It's very difficult to see them. Uh, but four cube, click that, boom, there you go. Our engines are firing. We are going down. Awesome. Gonna take a little while though, but that's fine. So we shall leave this episode here. And we shall come back next time, and uh, we shall return once we've connected this world and we started harvesting the aluminium from it, I suppose. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>